let's briefly talk about how to use the step one plus um, to do uh, QPCR. So we hit the screen, the power button is this blue button in the bottom left that will take a second to get fired up. This is very similar to the Quant Studio systems. Uh, it does have an extra die and um, if you check um, it's currently not posted right now, but if you check this cork board that's right here, by the time you see this, there will be a die, a die guide that says which dies are calibrated in each machine and which ones are compatible. On here, um, you can um, make shortcuts of protocols. So for example, this is already set up to do a standard and a fast TACMAN protocol. Make sure you pick the correct one. Um, we can open one of these. You could modify, if you click each stage, you can then either add a stage or you can go to options. And there's a ton of options in terms of um, the rate at which you're ramping or the amount of time you spend in each cycle, um, when you're collecting each data point, um, and then if you were gonna add a melt curve at a certain stage, um, which it looks like there may not be one configured in this protocol currently, uh, you could add a stage and then add a melt curve. Um, oh, actually that little C in there, I bet that's the melt curve right there. We hit save when we're done editing our protocol. And we're just gonna overwrite the existing experiment. And go home. And then I believe we go in here, yep. And this is the protocol that we set from our shortcuts. If you picked a different shortcut that wasn't shown here, once you save it, it will appear here. You can go into, this is our experiment that we're about to run. I'm gonna open this. This is a lid, so you can put this aside. It's just a blank plate. Uh, make sure that the plate you're using is similar and fits applied biosystems inside of this machine. Put this aside, and you can place your assay plate into the wells. If you have a deeper well plate, we have this insert, which adds a little bit of extra height that allows a deeper well plate to be put in so that you don't, basically, you have more space for your plate to rest. We close that in, and then we would hit start run to begin. So very simple, I mean, when you're done, it will, you'll have the option to put in a USB key and export your, your experimental results. We go to the main menu, um, and then there's this button that says collect results. Uh, you need to insert a USB key for that work, but then that will guide you through the process of putting your data onto your USB key for further analysis. Um, again, when you're done, take out your plate, put the lid back in, um, and then um, turn the power off on the machine. And that's about it. Let us know if you have any questions.